Hi, beautiful. Today we're watching some five minute crafts. And if you have never seen the channel, well, you're in for a treat today, baby. Five minute crafts is a mysterious place for me. It's basically a channel that does like hacks and stuff and kind of makes the hack more complicated than the actual thing that they're trying to hack would have been if you just did it correctly in the first place. That's my explanation. These hacks are not actually hacks. They're actually ways of making your life harder. And boy, do I love making my life harder than it needs to be. I do it all the time, every day. It's one of my favorite pastimes. We're gonna see what kind of hair hacks they have in store for us today, and I will be trying all of them out for you. So what the f let's hack away together and see what Five Minute Crafts has in store for us. Let's do it. I'm drinking matcha today, guys. You know what that means? Break it the f ready for my bullshit today. All right, so we're obviously on the channel 5 Minutes Crafts, and we got this video called Hairstyling and Hair Hacks to save your time and money. So we're gonna see if this is gonna save us time and money. Our first one up, I guess, we got a trimming your bangs with a piece of paper. So let's check it out. Okay, so she has bangs, a lot of them. Okay, we took a piece of paper, and now we're trimming them with, on a line on a piece of paper. Yo! I hope that is not her real hair. I'm so sorry, but why is it a bowl cut attached to, like, long hair? I don't know if that's that's the best look for her. I guess we're gonna see if drawing a line on a piece of paper is gonna help us get a straighter line when we're trimming bangs. All right, I got my client here for today and we got a piece of paper and we got a ruler and a Sharpie. We're gonna draw a line on this. This makes no sense. How do I know like where to draw the line? Do I like mark it off? They didn't explain this part to me. I guess it'll be like, I don't know, like at her nose. How do I know the line's straight? Eh, a little more down. All right, that's gonna be my line, I suppose. And this is supposed to be used to cut her bangs. All right, let's section the bangs out really quick. Um, should we do as much bang as this girl had? Like really, really wide? No, I don't want Miss Minnie Quinn to hate me. She will haunt me. She will wake up at night and torture me, so I don't wanna do that. Let me blow dry it all forward real quick. This girl already had her hair cut, so we're gonna cut off a bit of bang just to see what we're doing, um, or else it's gonna be a little bit too difficult to get that paper under there. Oh no. We got some trimmers here, and we're taking our piece of paper, and we're putting it under the bangs. Okay, so she lifted it up, put it right there. Maybe I'll just clip this to each side. This is definitely crafty. Oh no. Um, it's just not really working with the rounds of her head here. Oh God, okay. Oh. Okay. Oh, it's so hard to do both. Hold the paper and keep this. Uh, I'm gonna tell you right now, this is gonna be a no. Are you ready for the reveal? <laughs> In three, two, one. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Just kidding, it's terrible. I'd say it's a little crooked. This was terrible. That was so difficult. You're better off just eyeballing it and going across like that. The paper thing, it just is not gonna work like you saw it on that video. They definitely pre-cut those bangs and then put the damn paper on there. Hell no, this is not gonna save your time and money. Unless you want bangs like this, like crooked bangs. Maybe it's your thing, I don't know, girl. Also, just really sorry, Miss Manigan. I hope that one day you can forgive me. All right, get the f out of here. Now we have a curling iron hack. This is apparently supposed to give you really great spiral curls. And who doesn't want a good spiral curl? Okay, so she's taking a fork, putting the hair in the fork, wrapping it around the fork, heating it up with a flat iron, and then releasing it and calling it a f spiral curl. What is this? That's not a spiral curl. That's just completely offensive if we're calling that a spiral curl now. I'm definitely gonna try it. Maybe I can do it a little better than they did it. Um, but we'll see. Oh, hello. You must be my next client for today. I don't think it's gonna go well. We'll try and do the best we can. What is this? Yeah, it's a fork. We're gonna use it on your hair today to give you curls. You want curls, right, darling? Okay, we're gonna turn on our nice and flat iron. Back. 410. Let's Trunk this shit up. Let's make it so damn hot her head burns out. So she's going to prom tonight. She wants really nice spiral curls. And girl, if there's one person that can give that to you, it's me. So basically they stick it in here and then just wrapped around. Makes total sense to me. We're making a curl on a rectangular flat surface to make a spiral curl. It makes sense to me. We're gonna warm this up. So I think it's cooled down. Are you guys ready to see this beautiful spiral curl? Definitely gonna have to be a no from me on that hack. What the f is this? It looks like, uh, like, mm. like spider legs. Like, uh, I hate it. Mm. Sorry. Oh my God, ew. 
Mm-mm. Oh my God, oh my God. If you want to curl, take a piece of hair, twist it back halfway, and slowly bring it down the hair. And boom, you have a beautiful spiral curl. I feel like it's a lot easier. I mean, you be the judge though. If you like this better, I totally get it. You know, it's some people's vibe. It's not mine, darling, but that's what makes the world go round. Everybody has different vibes, you know? Just everybody's just out there vibing, trying to do their thing. All right, Nemo. What do we got next? All right, we got a dry shampoo hack now. Now, sometimes these actually work. This one's for brown hair. Let's see what, what we got going on. Greasy hair, yeah, dude, sometimes. Starch, cocoa, and baking soda. We're mixing it up, and we're using a makeup brush to put it right on her. Girl, that doesn't look good. Oh, and all of a sudden her hair, <laughs> her hair's clean. It's almost as if you cleaned your hair and like actually full on washed it. I'm willing to give it a shot. I do like the mixture. I think it's cool to like mix up your own dry shampoo and adding the cocoa is something I've never done before. It's like making a dark dry shampoo um, so that you don't get any of that white residue. I'm definitely interested. This actually might be kind of good. Well, hello, you must be my next client for today. Thank you for coming. I'm gonna do a dry shampoo test on you. We got our baking soda here. She kind of just like put like a half a tablespoon in. I think it's just equal parts of everything. So that's what I'm gonna do at least. We got corn starch and then we got cocoa powder. Half a tablespoon of that. Okay, I mean, it looks chunky. Honestly, kind of looks good too. I'm not mad about this so far. I feel like this might actually be good. So she kind of just dipped a, a brush in like that. Oh, pretty. Mmm, okay, okay. Why don't we just get some of that off of there? Looks a lot better on camera. Okay, no, okay, okay, is all I have to say. Let me just brush that through. I think she needs more, to be honest with you. Oh, maybe I didn't put enough cocoa powder in, but I did follow the directions to the best of my abilities. Mm. Mm hmm okay. Definitely gonna have to be a big fat no for me. I thought this one was gonna actually work for some reason. I don't know where I went wrong. This actually looked really promising, but got rid of not a lot of the oil, and she has these little flecks of grossness on her hair now, and I don't know what's going on, but I hate every part of it. Also, the cocoa powder, like, didn't darken it enough for it to be, like, effectively, like, dark enough for her dark hair. The girls in the video looked a lot darker for some reason. Maybe I had to add more cocoa next time. I don't know. Maybe I should try that. If that's not enough, I don't know what is. It's slightly darker. Maybe, no. It's still super light. I mean, if you want like faux highlights, I'm just kidding. Don't ever. Like, ugh, don't ever do that. This looks awful. I hate it. This didn't work. I want nothing to do with this ever again. It was actually worse than I expected it was gonna be, which is shocking. All right, what hack do we have next? All right, apparently we have some kind of blow dryer hack up next on how to make your hair curly easily, which sounds good. Okay, so they're twisting the hair and then just applying heat to it. Oh, come on. Girl, there's no way your hair is turning out that curly. You can tell if they curled the hair and then twisted it all together and then blow dried it and released it to make it look like they did it with a blow dryer, but in reality they use curling iron. But I know that some people do this to their hair and I know it, it works sometimes. You do usually have to have a curly hair to start, but I'm willing to try it out and see if that's like an easier way of manipulating the hair and getting waves. We can try it. Well, would you look at that? I have a returning customer. She loved her prom hair that I did with the fork, so she's back, I guess. Her hair seems to be dry. I don't know, maybe like a little bit damp. I would personally dampen it a little bit. Okay, so she split it down the middle and then did the hair in twists, I believe. It's already falling out, but fine. And I'm twisting it back away from her face. I guess all we have to do now is just blow dry it into place and hopefully it gives her um, as nice of waves as this girl got. Because apparently she gets curling iron waves with this technique. Perfect, okay, let's do it. All right, so I just blow dry it for a few minutes and so now let's release it and see if we got perfect curls. I feel like probably not, but I'm optimistic again. Um... All right, let's release the other side now. Hold on. Okay, hear me out. So it's definitely giving me like, not everything I wanted, but it is giving me actually something. To be honest with you, I've definitely used this technique before. It actually does give you very pretty waves, very natural looking flat waves. So I actually really like this one. It's actually really pretty. She has these very natural looking waves and I'm kind of into it. If I just spent a little more time blow drying, it probably would look even better. So dare I say that I actually like this hack. I don't know if it's really a hack though. It's just kind of a way to style your hair. Maybe it is a hack. 
What do I know? All right, so we got a fake bangs tutorial next. Let's see what it's all about. Okay, so she's not cutting the bangs. We're putting a little ponytail on the top and a ponytail on the bottom. And it's in, okay, it's going through that. Whoa. I already know this is not gonna work. Should I try it anyways? What the f were those bangs? Girl, it doesn't look good. I'm so sorry, but those are not cute. Maybe I could try a little bit longer next time. I don't know. But I just don't even understand how she got her bangs so straight. It was clearly like a hair extension or something. She would have had to like trim her length to be all straight. You'll see what I'm talking about. It's gonna be all weird. I don't think I can make this one work. This one might be the worst of all. <laughs> all right, we got our elastics. <laughs> we got everything we need. They put the first ponytail like this, like a little half up. And then the second one goes right underneath. And then we're doing this moment where we kind of like pull the hair through the ponytail. I'm definitely seeing the vision. You definitely have to have really long hair for this. So tell me what I'm supposed to do with this. <laughs> tell me what I'm supposed to do now. <laughs> I don't know about you guys. This doesn't look exactly like the hack video. Cute bangs, girl. I like literally, even if I tried to make this look good, it wouldn't. This is sad and offensive. I mean, listen, if you have really long hair and you can afford to like cut some length off when you put your hair forward like this, cause like if this was thicker, we could actually like make it look maybe cute and cut some length off to actually give her bangs. And it might work, but this, she, got, she has a lot of hair and it's not even close to working. I'm so sorry, sweetie, but this is just not your look. We're pulling out the big guns now. She has probably like the most hair you can have. Girl, it's either too long or too short. What are we getting out of this? Like now it's too long. I mean, what would you do? Like cut off all your hair? I don't know. Go get clip on bangs if you want temporary bangs. This is just a waste of your time. I mean, come on, this is ridiculous. I'm angry, I'm upset. I don't want to ever see this hack again. This is terrible, mm -mm, uh -uh. Thank you so much, but no thank you. Awful, don't ever try that. All right, we got a hack for loose ponytails coming up. Emily could use that one. She always has loose ponytails. All right, so we're tying to Elastics together, putting bio pins on each end. This is actually a normal thing to do, believe it or not, and using it as a hair bungee. And that looks so bad, and she's gonna make it look worse with the hair wrapped around it. Yes, Ariana. Okay, Miss Grande. She's giving us everything with this. <laughs> I definitely have some thoughts about that, but why don't we just try it? I'm so sorry how much torture she's been through today. She's gonna hate me. A little trick if you don't have hair bungees, if you don't know what hair bungee is, let me show you. This is a hair bungee. It just has two hooks on the end. So if you don't have them um, and you really need them one day, this is not as sturdy, that's for sure, but you can literally just do exactly what they did in that video and put a bobby pin on each end. But they did two hair ties, I guess to make it longer. So they kind of like fed it through the loop like that and did that. So we're we're gonna do the same thing today. All right, we got our pony. Let's put the hair bungee sort of mechanism in. We put the first little pin in the top and we wrap it around and then you stick the other pin in. And there you go, a little makeshift hair bungee. And then she wrapped a piece of hair around, which looked really ugly, but I guess we can try it out as well. Mmm, fun. Okay, I'm not gonna do that. So I'm gonna say that it definitely works, but I'm also gonna say that I don't think this is any tighter than just using an elastic by itself. I also think it's just ugly. If you're gonna do this, you should use just a real hair bungee because these actually do work and they make it a lot tighter and it's a lot easier to use and you only get one tiny little string going across instead of this huge like quadruple wrapped ponytail that looks hideous. I don't like this at all. And I won't be using this hack. Did I learn anything new today? No. Uh, well, I learned how to make um, simple things more complicated for myself is what I learned. So thank you Five Minute Crafts for that. I. Appreciate it. I didn't need that because I already make things more complicated for myself than they need to be, but it's okay. I could always use more of that, I suppose. If you guys aren't already subscribed, make sure you do. It's right down below. Hit that button. You can also hit the like button and the bell icon to be notified every time I post a new video. If you guys like to text me, this is my number. Yes, it's really connected to my phone. Yes, I really do see all your messages. And yes, I'll be texting back a few of you guys right now. This will also keep you notified every time I post a new video. Make sure you guys follow me everywhere else here on my social media handles. Go for it. 
it. Bang, bang, boom, bang. If you guys want to shop my new Live Your Extra Life merch, here it all is. It's so cute. You can shop now at xmondohair.com. It is linked below. Also, you can shop my hair care products and my color line at xmondohair.com. It is also linked below. And you can check us out at xmondohair and xmondocolor on Instagram. Today's Instagram shout out goes to Shay. She says, Brad, my hair has only gone through the repeat cycle of grow, chop, donate, repeat, no dyes, no fun, no nothing. What would Brad do? <laughs> WWB. Oh my God, your hair's so pretty. I would definitely give you a little bit of layering. I think it's a little bit to one length. Maybe even add like a fringe, a little side so a bang moment would be really cute. And then also, if you want to do something really crazy, I'm picturing some kind of deep blue color or purple. I'm getting both. It would be really good. It's definitely gonna be a huge change, but you're giving me the vibes. If you do it, I would love to see it. Let me know how it goes and good luck. All right, that is all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.